Hello everybody, welcome to my Eurovision 2021 React Review video. So today what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be looking at Anna Soklic. Now I had no intention of doing this, um, I was literally lying on the couch and I got an alert from the Eurovision Song Contest YouTube channel that they had uploaded uh, a new version, well it's not a new version, a different version of Amen. Um, so Anna Soklic representing Slovenia this year. Now. Uh, hopefully I'll be able to work out how to add the thing above me but you'll see that I've already reviewed this song and I feel that that review was very 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 positive um, also um, I uh, have uploaded my uh, 30 days to Eurovision uh, part one video and again hopefully I've worked out that it's there um, and uh, for me, this is one of the most underrated songs of this year. And I kind of get a bit confused when I kind of read things, I kind of watch people's uh, predictions of qualifying from semi-final one, where people are completely writing this song off. Um, that actually people say that they preferred Voda from last year. The fact that they're saying that they are underwhelmed by the song. I don't get it. Like. I get a bit nervous sometimes that I'm going crazy like I'm listening to a different song. Like for me, I actually really, 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 really like this song. And I think A, it's better than Bodder. B, like, I don't know. Like I really, really like it. Um, so I, I know that a lot of artists this year are kind of releasing like acoustic versions of their song. And I have noticed that quite a few of those have gone up on Eurovision Song Contest YouTube channel um, and I have watched those but I've never felt the need to react review it. I'm doing it for this one because I generally think that it's underrate, like underrated um, and I'm hoping when I watch this um, I have more confidence that this song will do better than people think. Like I know it's in semi-final one and I know semi-final one is stacked with with amazing songs and I get why people forget this and think this hasn't got a chance. I get the fact that people say this is on second in semi-final one so it's just going to be forgotten about. I understand all of those things and you know if I was forced to do my prediction of who I think is going to qualify right now, I'm kind of going to do that this weekend, that's on my to-do list this weekend, um, I would probably admit that yeah based on everything I'm looking at, if it, it I mean if it was down to me I'd put it through. But at the end of the day, we've just got to be a bit realistic and everybody versus me <laughs> can't be wrong. So what I mean by that is evidently people on mass are saying this isn't going, this isn't qualifying. So I'm hoping that when I watch this, I see something which I haven't seen before that makes me think other people need to see this so I'm not going crazy. <laughs> but actually this is a good song. So before I look at this um, and react to it, uh, please do uh, check out my other review uh, reaction videos. Please do support my channel. Please do subscribe. Um, and yeah, let's have a look. Oh, that's what acapella means, isn't it? <laughs> Why am I being so dumb? It's like pitch perfect. Um, what well, is that on her head? It's almost like something from uh, like an elf from Lord of the Rings. Not like a little elf, but like an elf. <laughs> um, the reason why I've stopped it there is. I saw um, a review reaction of this song the other the other day and they were really dissing it due to its kind of religious connotations. Obviously it says amen and they were basically saying it was kind of too much like religion in your face. And I was like, is that what the lyrics are about? Because I'm very much kind of a melody guy, hence why, you know, some of my favourite Eurovision songs aren't even in English. Um, I am a bad person in the sense that I don't listen to lyrics, um, but she is confirming, not that this is a religious song, but she's really hamping up the amen aspect of this song by obviously putting this in a church. Um, 
doesn't let me off. Um, I'm liking it so far, but I'm not gonna kind of patronize anyone by saying Anna's voice is amazing, like that's a given. Um, and again, if you see my kind of uh, uh, 30 day challenge to Eurovision, it, for me it was either her or Destiny from Malta as the best female voice this year. She's, she's super talented, that voice, that low tone that she does. Yeah, so good. Oh, I take it all back. I like this. It is Elvish jewellery from Lord of the Rings. I've just seen her bracelet. Um, and it didn't help that she was right near a river there. Lord of the Rings references, but I'm digging it. Whoever thought about doing an a cappella version of this is a genius. Just as in it's like a cool idea, right? And it really makes the song personable with so many faces, so many voices. This is the part of the song. This is my favorite part of the song now. Ah. Why do people not like this song? I don't get it. I mean, this video, the acapella, makes it sound much more positive and less dark as the official video. Oh, don't stop. Look, I really, really, really like this song. And I know deep down inside, I know deep down inside, this is not going to qualify. And I seem to be the only voice I can see. That's really disappointed by that. Um, I do know for this to qualify, other songs that I really like will miss out, but this whole semi-final one, like I need to do a, uh, I do, I, that is my next video, semi-final one predictions. And I've been putting it off because I think every day my head changes and I just need to do it and then just it's done. Um, I, all my luck, all my luck, all the best luck to Anna to this song, to Slovenia. All I can say is surely, surely it is not impossible to imagine that this song might qualify. Because when I've seen people's predictions on YouTube recent, in the last few days, like people just rule this out straight away. It's not even a kind of, it might be. And I just don't get it, because I'm like, well, she's got such a great voice and there is something about this song that really builds at the end and, ugh, I don't know. But if it was kind of what I want, I do think I want this. This, And if I was going to rank my top 10 of semi-final one, this would be in there. It is in there. It is in there, even before that. Um, so yeah, those are my thoughts. So yeah, please let me know what you think. Am I going crazy? Is this song rubbish? Is this song never going to qualify? Do you think that it might qualify after watching that? Have you changed your opinion about this song? Please do let me know. Please do subscribe to my channel. Please do support uh, the channel and the Eurovision journey uh, that I've been going on the last couple of weeks, months and into the future. And yeah, until next time, stay safe.